Now do you know how to tell the sex of this snake? Well, so like on the, the rubber boa, they have small uh, spurs near the cloaca. These guys don't. But what they can, what they do have is hemipenes. So I'll get the other one. Come on. Come on out. There we go. That one's a little more bashful. Snakes and lizards, the males have these two copulatory structures. When you look at the tail, can you see the bulge where those hemipenes are located? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times if it's a female snake, it will just taper and there's, the tails are a lot of times shorter also because there's nothing down there really other than those minor scent glands. But the males have those hemipenes here. So a lot, once you get used to it, you can just look at a tail and say, oh, uh, it's a male or a female, okay? But uh, until you're sure, the one thing you can try to do is gently get the hemipenes. That's called popping the hemipenes if you want to use herp culture, herpeticulture speak. But the problem is there's a little muscle that pulls that hemipenis back into the tail. And sometimes that retractor muscle is quite strong. And depending, if you're trying to squeeze hard enough to get it to evert, it could actually damage it. So it, try a gentle squeeze, and if it comes out good, if not, then don't, don't risk hurting the snake. Now this is not like a mammalian penis because there's no, there's no uh, urethra through the middle of it, okay? I describe it, well, it's maybe kind of a corny example, but if you think of it as like a sock, two socks, right? And the retractor muscle, you would be able to reach inside that sock and pull it inside out, back down into the tail. That's how it is. And then when it fills with blood, then it will evert. But the sperm is coming from the testes, which there's no scrotum, obviously. The testes are up in the abdominal pelvic region. <laughs> and the sperm just travel down grooves of those hemipenes. They don't go through the middle of it. So, but anyways, that's how you do that. Now, thank you, ma'am. I was just going to say, we've got, we've got a fancy way of, if you can't get a snake to pop, and you can't tell from the tail, let me get that tucked back in. It's like, well, I don't know what gender it is. You can buy one of these fancy probing kits from Midwest Tongs. I don't remember how, you remember how much they were? Like 70 bucks, 70 bucks for, that for this little kit <laughs> but look how cool it is right it's got its own little pouch lubricating jelly <laughs> so <laughs> and then you got all different sizes so these little tiny ones are for like hatchling snakes okay uh, but a snake this size you could go with one of these bigger probes Stainless steel, you could lube it up, but there's enough juice going on here and I don't think we need to worry about it. Now, again, if you're teamed up with somebody, I'm gonna put him in the shade. Um, if we're teamed up with somebody, they could be doing the probing while you're holding the tail, having everything set. So actually, you wanna do the honors? Me? Yeah, you do. So the best technique is to Gently put the probe, not midline, because there's nothing there, but it's on either side. Now, if you stuck the probe in the cloaca and went forward, then you'd be in the rectum, right? But if you stick it in and try to gently slide, you're basically, go ahead, you're, okay, now back, now tip it up. So tip it like this, and you're going to try to run it down the tail. Backward. Oh, there way? you go. Okay. Just like Thank that. Thank you. I was like, I need a different word. Right. A little bit lateral off to the side. Right. Right there. Out here. Come back out of there and come. Show me. Okay. You hold it. How about this? You yeah. hold the tail. There we go. Now, this probe is a little bit big, oh, but. Okay. Now, can you see how. The probe inside there, yeah. see it bulging right there. So that's 
the sock, the hemipenes, that's how far it's retracted back in. And you're just in the space of that. Okay. okay. So, but yeah, it's, it's, almost, it's really not in the cloaca. Yeah. They're it's... on the tail off to the side. So, so you and you can go either side. And they won't always go quite so far in, but, but that's how it works. Now, if you don't want to spend $70 on your fancy Midwest Tong kit, then you go to Walmart for a dollar eighty. They can buy hairpins. And thank you, ma'am. There's an extra. And <clears throat> they don't come with the KY jelly, but they do have a nice little Teflon plastic rounded knob on the end. And now you can. Maybe. Yeah. There you go, right there. So if it goes in like that, it's a male. All right, so that's all there is to it.